the birth of religion. Let me give you the gist first. Religion is coming from when people are so focused on getting things done for themselves, when people are so focused on their own needs that they go to God, but then they only use God to get their needs met. And once their needs are being met, they stay in that shrine or they stay in that temple, in that pulpit, in that, uh, in that building and keep on going there just using God for their own means. Your Christianity and your Christian life becomes religion and religious lifestyle when you stop converting. Religion is when we go to church, we pray to God, we try to build a relationship with God, but there is really no more relationship and it's more of tradition, it's more of culture, it's more of what we just do regularly. So for example, if you go to church every Sunday, just because it's a Sunday, that is religion. If you go to church every every week just because you want to show up so that nobody says you didn't show up this week, that is religion. If you go to church every every time just for the pastor to see you and to know that you are showing up, that is not relationship with God. That is religion. If you go to church um, just because you know you have some problems and you are you want to use God to meet your needs, that is religion. If you are going to church not to be able to convert the knowledge of God into something practical to better the life of other people, to better the environment, the world around you, to make the world a better place, if that is not you, what you are doing with your religiosity, then that is just pure religion. So religion starts where conversion stops. I think that's a good way to put it. If your religion experience remains only an experience and that experience is not converted, then you are just simply religious now. You are no more in relationship. Because that means your faith is now dead. Before, because faith without works is dead. And whenever faith is there, is no is, is without works, it's not just dead, it becomes it transforms to religion. Whatever you get to know in your relationship with God or about God must be converted to works. You must work to convert whatever thing you discover about God. So faith without works, it means faith without conversion. So it is true work. Whenever our relationship with God, whenever our work with God, anything we are doing with God, anything we are getting to know about God is not being converted into real valuable substance for people, for, for the country, for, for the environment, for the kingdom of God, it means that we are engaged now in religion. And that means your faith is without work. Your faith must always be worked out. You must always walk on your faith. You must always do something to work out what you have discovered about God. You must always find ways to convert your faith. So, I, I, but I'm so sad when I see churches today where people are more drawn to churches that where they teach not the ways of God, but the works of God. I mean, it is, it is, it is absolutely embarrassing. It is, it is a disgrace to be going and flocking. I mean, we have millions of people flocking into churches where emphasis are laid on the way on the on the works of god rather than the ways of god i mean all most of especially in africa where i come from most people flock into churches just because of the miracles that are happening there most people flock into churches just because of how much works of god, how much miracles are being worked work there so the miracles now become the criteria where they go to church but really the criteria why why you choose a church should not be because of miracles that have been done there the criteria why you choose to go to a church should be because of uh the ways the principles that are being revealed there 
the ways of God that are being taught are because of the path of God, the principles of God, the, uh, the, 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 the truth of God that are being, that are being taught.